Hey, welcome back to Blar. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Kotik the Bald Wizard. So it's an indie game off Steam. I think it's under a dollar. I'm pretty sure that's what I paid for it. It might be 99 cents or 50 cents. I'll have to double check. Um, but it's a simple retro style game. Um, that's kind of like retro difficulty as well. So you either, there's checkpoints, you have three lives to start the game. I'll start a new game so you can see the story. It's not a big deal. So here's the wizard, got his hat on, and this bird comes by, steals the hat, my hat, darn it. And we see he's bald, being the bald wizard. Who's a villager. So the art is pretty nice. It's kind of like a nice retro feel, kind of like a hand coloring drawing looking thing, like with the sun up there. A little bit of story about what happened, why you're going to be going on your, your quest. Four monsters woke up, petrified all the villagers. So you have to defeat these four four bosses in the game. Do my best to save everyone. So you have your wizard staff there. Thank you, Kotik. Pretty good animation. So I do like the art in the game. So there's the village. It's pretty, you know, it's having a bad day in the village here. Got fire from the sky. This guy doesn't seem to care. You can go in here, but I guess they're all stone, so you can't talk to anybody. <laughs> you got like an eye of Soren back there. All that stone. So, you can't read anything. So your actions are, you gotta go to the forest here. You have a jump, an attack. As you can see, it doesn't go all the way across the screen. So the game is fun to like pick up and play, but it does fall short in some areas, like variety-wise. So you can also lay down and shoot, jump and shoot. But this is all he's going to get. He's going to have the staff with the fireballs, and that's it. He's not going to upgrade anything like at all. He's not going to collect any coins either. Pretty much getting from point A to point B, trying to find the the boss monster and defeating the four bosses to win the game. So there's also your health on the upper left there and number of lives. So on easy mode, it might default to it with that, I'm not sure, but you get three lives. So that's good. Because when you die, um, you said you saw in the beginning it's like continue. Because you have a percentage up there, but you'll go all the way back to the village and have to, you know, travel where you were all the way again, which is never fun in any game. So, and then you got to figure out pretty much the patterns and not to get hit. So you, can, you know, maximize your life on your your journey here. But it does have a um, good amount of enemy types. I think it said 29 on the page. And it does have like, whoops, that's just damage there. Different paths to take to find the different bosses. But definitely a lot of the, um, trial and error. Make sure you don't get hit because there's going to be no, no healing at all. It's kind of a lame way to do difficulty. That is what it is. So my first playthrough, you go all the way to the right and you'll find um, one of the boss monsters we just keep going right so let's go down here you can go down to a different path so you got a different enemy guy down here no oh, you just <laughs> it's like those throw some dirt at you oh, man. some spiders here So you don't take any damage, so it looks like you just gotta jump over them. And the control is solid. You got some a little bit of air control. The music is decent. I don't know what this thing is. Ah, oh, see? That sucks. A sandworm. 
kind of a cool attack. So I'm you go to the next area there when you find those signs. Sandstones. That's where we're at. Oh, that guy. That's pretty cool. Oh, don't expect that. So, he did a lot of damage. I don't know if you can kill him or not. Yeah, let's just avoid him. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. If you take, let's try to run through it until I get to the next part. Those eyes are not going to give up. I guess you can just phase through things. It's not fair. Like a stegosaurus uh, <laughs> fossil. And there. So now I'll go back to the checkpoint sandstones. Can't go back. I continue on uh, the path you're at, which is fine. So this is Cautic, Cautic, the Bald Wizard. Pretty fun little game. If you like this kind of stuff, beat the four bosses. I haven't done it yet. I actually, I've only seen one boss. The, the uh, well, I won't say. I've seen one boss, and um, still haven't figured out the pattern yet. But starting all the way over is never fun to me. <laughs> so it'll take a little bit of patience if you like this kind of stuff. Except you want to really run through like this. You probably take your time, figure out who you need to kill or who you don't need to kill. Well, that guy. Okay, go down. So it varies. So now we're like in a haunted house kind of area. Oops. It's pretty cool. Taking all kinds of damage, but <laughs> some ghosts, some skeletons. So so far, you've seen a, a, a village, the tree forest area, and there's like a, a bigger part of that area, and the sandstone area. Now, wherever this is, that's a lot of skeletons. That sucks. So looks like it has some cheap hits. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I've never been down this road, this area before, so that's all new to me. That's cool to see. Like that. Maybe we'll get to a boss here. We'll see. He's got an eye. Looking around. But for a dollar game, I can't really complain too much. Like that. I don't like that cheap death. Like, you're going to take hits here, and that's really kind of lame. Eye patch. Oh, that's a fast. Only take two hits, okay. So you just gotta be patient, which I'm not. Yeah, those guys suck. So there, there you have it. If you like this kind of game, I would pick it up if, you're, if you don't mind starting on the way over when you uh, you lose the life. This is Cautic. Um, it's a, what it says here, it says it's an action platform game where villagers from a little town have been petrified. Now Kaltik, the bald wizard, has a hard mission of saving them. But he will need to venture into the wood controlled, the world controlled by evil creatures. Which we've seen a lot of evil creatures in a couple of different stages. So, thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.